Hey guys, it's Freddy Tech back with another video with CFL Tech, and we're gonna be talking about an RSN situation yet again. So that's a big surprise. Maybe not. But this is again involving Bally Sports and a Major League Baseball team. So we're gonna have that story up here real soon. It's courtesy of the desk.net. So thank you to them for the article as usual. And we'll have that article up here real soon. But what are your thoughts on all this craziness with the RSNs lately? We just mentioned yesterday that the uh, SNY network will no longer be on YouTube TV. So at the end of this month, there's a chance that YouTube TV will drop SNY. So the New York sports fans or the Mets and the Jets and any other sports related, New York related sports stuff will be gone off of YouTube TV. So what are your thoughts on this? And what are your plans? So please put the comments down below. Hopefully everybody's doing good. I'm going to have the article up now. So thank you for the continued growth of this channel. We do appreciate it. Hopefully everybody's doing great. So check out this article now and we'll catch you guys in the next one. So taking a look at this article here from the desk.net and thank you to them. Um, it shows here that the Diamond Sports seeks end to agreement with Arizona Diamondbacks. The regional sports broadcaster says it lost $3 million keeping the agreement in place. So that's quite a bit of money there. And we're seeing this continue on and on. We just saw the San Diego Padres now with, uh, you know, with Bally and now no longer being carried on the Bally Sports Network. So it says here, Sinclair Broadcasting Group Regional Sports subsidiary Diamond Sports has filed an emergency motion in federal court asking a bankruptcy judge to nullify its agreement with the Arizona Diamondbacks. If ordered, the move would allow Diamondback Sports to walk away from its telecast agreement with the Major League Baseball franchise, which would become the latest casualty of the Chapter 11 bankruptcy case filed by the regional sports broadcaster earlier this year. So, very interesting. We see these things happening now with the regional sports networks. It's on and on now. I don't think there's any stop up to this anytime soon, especially with the bankruptcy with Bally Sports. So, you know, what's going to be is going to be something to see here. Um, are most of these sports teams, especially in the smaller markets, going to be on their local TV? And then just like we used to watch baseball in our local stations back in the years and years ago, is it going to go to that? There's so much money involved today, though, compared to years ago with advertisers and the owners and everybody wanting a piece of the pie. It's, it's more complex and a lot more money involved. Very interesting read here. I'm going to have this article down below for you if you want to read that in the um, description section. Please put your comments as well on, these, on this video. So give your thoughts on what you think is happening and where it's going with the RSN situation. We just saw that YouTube TV is now dropping SNY Network. So that affects New York sports fans like of the Mets and the Jets. So... You know, there are other options to watch SNY, but they may not be the best ones for a lot of these customers that had YouTube TV. So the fans are getting shut out, and it's just a situation where it's all about the money. And yeah, it, it is about the money. These are businesses, and they have to make their revenue and have to pay their employees, and they have to pay the overhead, their expenses. It's uh, it's known, you know, that that's for sure, but... Where does the line get drawn on what is excessive? And that's where it looks like things are starting to really hit a head here. And um, even eventually, who knows what we see with player salaries and contracts. They may start coming down at some point, too. But that's not even anywhere near happening anytime soon. But first, it's just the broadcasting of these games, the rights, and what they charge. Like, Bally was charging a lot of money to put these games, to put their, their channels on these systems. And then with cord cutting and, you know these spectrum and and any other service and now even the streaming live streaming services are saying well the viewership is viewership is not there you know we're not going to carry these services it's just not worth it for us to pay that type of money so it's very interesting we'll see what happens with Bally, and you see here in the map, there's quite a few states they are in with the coverage of these teams. So it's definitely going to affect a lot of sports fans one way or another, whether it's baseball or basketball, football, what have you. Maybe not football necessarily, but a lot of baseball and hockey and, and basketball. So put your comments down below what you think on this and where it's going. So hopefully everybody's doing great. Freddie Tech will be checking out of this one soon to be back with another one. 
Hope everybody's taking care. Until next time, take care.